I really love this feast day of Our Lady of Guadalupe because it's one of the feast days of Our Lady that you can actually go see for yourself. So it's not like the other apparitions of Our Lady are not as impressive or not as trustworthy. But if a person wants to go check out the miracle of Guadalupe, they can just go down to Mexico for themselves and see the miracle on display. So I won't get into the whole story, but for starters, the tilma or the poncho, which has miraculously the image of Mary imprinted on it, so the tilma that was worn by St. Juan Diego, that's still in existence, which is a, a miracle in itself, considering the fact that it was made by cactus fibers. And those things are supposed to disintegrate within 25 years of, of being composed. But the image itself on the tilma is baffling. So just to give you an idea of, of how Mary, it's kind of like she gives a cheeky nod to the scientific community. A thorough study of the image found that at the back of Mary's eyes, so the area of the retina, so it was that thorough a study. So the area of the retina contained the images of the individuals who were present in the room when St. Juan Diego was telling the story. Plus, those images on her retina were inverted. They were flipped, which is how, by the way, images normally appear on a person's retina. And then it's up to your brain to flip them around and present them to you right side up. So some really mind-boggling stuff. And if you're a scientist or if you're a med school student, Our Lady of Guadalupe is your friend. She's your patroness. But that's not primarily the reason why this feast day is so important. Because Mary here, she presents herself as one who provides a breakthrough to those who need it. You see, 10 years just prior to Mary appearing to St. Juan Diego, the Franciscan missionaries had been trying largely unsuccessfully to evangelize the people in that territory. And then Our Lady of Guadalupe comes along, and within 10 more years, 9 million people turn to Christ and become members of his church. So just to put that, to put that in perspective, that's like, a Pentecost day happening every day for 10 years. It's almost like Mary was trying to say, my poor children, you're not having much success, are you? Well, let me show you how it's done. Boom. So if you're needing a breakthrough in any area of your life, place it in the hands of Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe, and the Patroness of the Americas.